entering the state house, lawmakers worked up until the last minute, and just before midnight, it was approved a brand new budget for the state of Indiana. Yeah, and this is a budget that brings some major changes, especially when it comes to how schools are funded. RTV6's Ann Kelly joins us live outside the state house now to explain. Ann? Hey, good morning, Mark and Beth. Well, this is a two year budget worth $31 billion. The governor Pence has said makes a historic commitment to education. It increases funding for education by 2.3%. But, and here's where some of the controversy comes in, it shifts from a, it shifts money away from districts with declining enrollments to those that are growing. So as a result, IPS is set to lose nearly $17 million, while some suburban districts will see an increase in funds. Republicans are on board with this plan, while some Democrats, including the House Minority Leader, are saying this morning this shift in education funding will only hurt students, especially those in shrinking districts like IPS. What's problematic is that's where some of our kids who are really struggling are, and we're not doing our best for them. Uh, we need to do the best we can for every child here in Indiana, and not just a few. We had a goal of uh, decreasing the inequality between school systems, but we wanted to be sure that uh, Urban schools like IPS and other schools had a soft landing. I think we were able to accomplish that and work closely with uh, Dr. Farabee and others to uh, get to the right place where we hit that in, uh, inequity uh, a bit and uh, brought the, the suburban and rural schools closer to uh, equality. And the budget not the only bill passed last night. Lawmakers also approving a number of other pieces of legislation at the last minute. They have to do with Glenda Ritz, the amount of power she has, powdered alcohol, and with live dealers at Racinos. Coming up at 6.30, we'll give you a look at those, a close-up look, including what they mean for people here in Indiana. But for now, we're reporting live outside the Statehouse. Ann Kelly, RTV6. On